Hello, welcome back. First, let's do a quick review. Last time, when we had this equation, x to the x to the x, da da da, infinitely many of them, if this is equal to 3, we saw that the answer seems to be the cube root of 3. However, this right here is actually not the solution to this right here. Why? The truth is, when we have this equation, if this number is outside of this interval, where of course 3 is bigger than 2.7, so we know this right here actually does not have an answer for it. However though, this right here, if you put this back to the infinite power tower, namely the cube of 3, the cube of 3, the cube of 3, infinitely many times, this right here actually converges. Well, the reason I want to bring this up is because this right here is inside of this interval. Hmm. So, here's the interesting part. This right here is not a solution to this and actually converges. Why is that? Let's first figure out what value does this actually converge to, right? And with that, we actually have to use the Lambert W function, which I have a lot of videos on them already, so go ahead and review them if you need to. By the way, here we go. First, we know this right here does converge based on the things that we did already. So we can write this down as the cube of 3, let me put it as 3 to the 1 third power, yeah, same thing, yeah. And then the next one is of course still 3 to the 1 third power, and then just so on, so on, so on. This converges, I will just put this to be, well, since I used x and y already, so let me just use k right here, just to reduce some confusions. Now, here's the deal. When we have all this, yes, we can just look at this part. This part is also the cube of 3 infinitely many times. So this right here is still going to give you k. So in another word, this right here becomes 3 to the 1 third power raised to the k power and then this right here is equal to k, like so. And now let's see how we can solve that. We can just multiply the powers, so we get 3 to the 1 third k, and then that's equal to k, and you see k is in the exponent, and this is just k to the first power. We really have to use the Lambert W function. So now, let's see how we can do that. Well, in order for us to use the Lambert W function, we will have to put this on the same side. To do so, I will just divide this on both sides. So divide the 3 to the 1 third k on both sides. So let me just do that for you guys real quick. So that the left hand side is equal to 1. And then the right hand side, I can put this down as the negative power. So we have this equals k times 3 to the 1 third k. But again, I brought it up, so this right here should be a negative power. And now, in order for us to use the Lambert W function, we need to have base E, not 3. So, let's do the usual business. We will look at the 3 as E to the ln 3 power, right? So, here we have 1, and that's equal to k, and this again is E to the ln 3 power. But, we will have to put this to that power. However, a power to a power, we can just multiply the powers. So I will just put this down right here. We multiply by negative 1 over 3k, like that. Good. Now, for the Lambert W function, we will have to make sure this is the same as that. We do have the k already. Well, we need the rest, namely negative ln3 over 3, isn't it? Well, I cannot just multiply this part, I will have to do the same thing on both sides. So I will multiply by negative ln3 over 3, like that. Alright, good. Finally, we can take the Lambert W function on both sides, so that you can see, this right here simplifies to just this, and I will put that down first. Negative ln3 over 3 times k, and that's equal to that, which is the Lambert W function of negative ln3 over 3. And finally, to solve for k, we can just multiply the reciprocal on both sides. So we see k is actually equal to negative 3 over ln3 times the Lambert W function of negative ln3 over 3, like this. 
And if you enter this on Wolfram Alpha, you will end up with 2.478, approximately speaking. Right? Very good. And now, you might be really wondering, how come, if you look back to this equation, what was wrong with the procedure right here? x to the x to the x all the way, and we just say, this portion is the same as 3, so let's just solve x to the third power being equal to 3, and then take the cube root on both sides. It does seem like x should be the cube root of 3, isn't it? Well, in fact, that's actually included in this Lambert W function expression. And the reason why is because this right here is actually a multi-value function. And the answer that we got earlier is the principal value, and you can just think about it as the first answer. Well, first answer, the principal value, you can just have W sub 0, like that. Well, if you have W sub negative 1, you guys can see on the screen, you actually end up with 3. And the crazy part is that if you have a different branch, right, you can actually get imaginary values, complex values, crazy values. Very cool, isn't it? And now, you might be still wondering, how come when we do this, it only gives you 2.478, it just doesn't give you 3, even though 3 is also a real number? Well, in order for us to Talk about that, we will have to look at your graphs. Here is the deal. This right here is e to the 1 over e, which is approximately 1.445. Yeah? So we have the maximum x right here is 1.445-ish. What's the cube root of 3? 1.442. It's actually very different if you put the cube root of 3 right here versus if you put a cube of 3 right here. Because if you put a cube of 3 right here, what do you get? You actually get the first answer, and that's the only one. If you look up, you hit the Y, this right here is precisely the answer that we got earlier, and that's 2.478. It does not go all the way. But if you look at this equation this way, when you have the cube of 3, if you look up, you hit this, but also you hit that. So that's why it gives you two real solutions. Whenever you're doing this kind of things, you have to be super, super careful. This and that, they are not entirely the same. Again, this and that, they are not entirely the same. If the question was just this, you really have to play the game based on this portion right here. Right? Let's take a look at these two equations. The first one is y equals square root of x, and the second one is y squared is equal to x. And yes, all I did is I squared the first equation to get the second one. But the deal is that it depends on where you start off with. Now, have a look. What if I say y is equal to negative 2? In that case, I will end up with the equation negative 2 is equal to square root of x. On the other hand, I will end up with negative 2 squared, that's equal to x. Which one has an answer? The answer is this one. Because this is doable, you just square that, you get x is equal to 4, and then you are done. Right? Assuming, x is, uh, assuming y is equal to negative 2. But if you plug in negative 2 into y for the first equation right here, this right here actually has absolutely no solution. Technically, not even in the complex world, neither. So why did I want to bring this up? Well, if you look back right here, again, the original question is, can we solve x to the x dot 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 is equal to 3? This right here is no solution. You can see the graph like this, no solution, right? However, for this right here, for the second version, if I ask you, instead of putting down the street right here for the y, but actually I put a street right here and right here, if I ask you x to the third power is equal to 3, how would you solve this? This right here, the answer is just the cube root of 3. And this is not even debatable. But you really have to make sure that 
you understand the difference between this equation and that equation are very different. If the question is start off with this, you have an answer. If the answer, if the question is starting off that, sorry, no. So hopefully everything right here is clear. And I think this is the end of this series. If you have any other things you want to mention, I may make some extensions for you guys. Yeah, so some bonus videos. So leave a comment down below and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.